Proverbs chapter 3 verse 15, she is more precious than rubies, nothing you desire can compare with her. You're welcome to my channel. Hi, I'm Priscilla and I will be teaching you how to get this impeccably bleached knots. Just stay tuned and we'll get straight into it, okay? Right, so firstly you'll need your blue, sorry, your blue rapid, <laughs> your blue rapid bleach. And um, yeah, you can use a white one if that's what you have. And then your cream peroxide. I use a 30 volume developer. You can use a 40 if you like. A purple shampoo. Again, I'll use a vanilla or yellow shampoo. You can use a shimmer light if you like. And a moisturizing conditioner okay you'll also need a pin tail comb um, about two hair ties and a mixing bowl and knife okay i did this for people who don't have the professional bowl and the professional and brush so you can use a bowl and knife just make sure it's not metal because metal will react with your bleach okay just a plastic knife and a plastic bowl will be fine you'll need gloves to protect your hands and of course a foil and last but not the least you will need your closure you won't get too far without that okay this closure is from my hair collection priya hair manor you can follow us on instagram twitter and facebook at priya hair manor okay all my closures come pre-plucked with baby hairs and that means that it's imper it's um imperative that you comb all the baby hairs away from the lace before you start to bleach your lace because we do not want our hair to be bleached okay the goal here is to bleach just the knots of the closure or the frontal and not the hair okay so like you can see me do you transfer sorry first of all you put your, your gloves on to protect your hands and then you start um, transferring your bleach into your bowl i used two scoops of the blue rapid bleach but one and a half should be fine in hindsight i should have just used one and a half because it was a bit too much for my um five by five closure so i'd say if you're bleaching a four by four or a five by five closure one and a half is perfectly fine you can use two if you're bleaching a six by six okay Right, so you just transfer um, your bleach into the bowl and then you begin to add your developer. Um, some of you might ask, how much developer do I need? Um, I wouldn't, you don't really need to measure your developer. I'd say just keep adding bit by bit. You'll see it later on in the video just to give you a heads up. Just keep adding bits um, of your developer into your your um, powder and you'll know if you need more. I don't want you to have a a um a ratio which would give you um a mixture that is too runny the goal is to get a very thick consistency so that we avoid bleeding bleeding is a term that just describes when your bleach runs through your closure and bleeds the hair so just keep adding it in um small amounts as you go you will know if you need more you want a very thick consistency okay Right, so here you could clearly see that I needed some more developer. So that's exactly what I did. I go in and I add a bit more and I mix. That's what I mean by you will know if you need more. You want your consistency again to be very thick. Thick to the extent that when you um, lift your your mixture with the knife or with the brush it should not fall off your knife or your brush again we're trying to avoid at all cost your mixture seeping through the lace and bleach in your hair we do not want that okay so you want it to be very thick a very thick consistency Like you can see over here, when I lift up my mixture with the knife, it does not fall back into it. You do not want it to be runny. So 
so I'm just mixing to ensure that I am um, to ensure that I have a smooth paste you just want your paste to be smooth because the the powder is quite grainy so you just want to get that smooth um, consistency that paste like it should be smooth and thick okay just smooth and thick so you have a clean um, application on your lace right so you just lay your closure flat down um, with the closure facing up obviously that's the only way you get to apply your mixture and yeah you can start applying i could have started applying here but i just decided to go back in and mix a little bit i just wanted to get it really smooth so you'll see what i mean i just went back in and mixed just a little bit but i really i could have just started applying now Right, so when you start um, applying um, your mixture to the closure, you want to start from the back and not from the hairline. Right, so this is how bleaching works. Wherever you bleach, wherever you apply the bleach first, starts the process before where you apply it last. Okay, so I'd advise that you start from the back and work your way to your hairline. Let's just say you have a failed bleach work. Let's just hypothetically, it, it fails. If you start bleaching from the back, most of the damage will be done to the back and nobody will see that if you start bleaching from the hairline and the bleaching work goes wrong everyone will see that because the hairline is obviously the first thing you see when you see someone in a wig okay so you want to start applying the bleach from the back and not from the hairline also you want to be very light-handed do not apply the bleach with force because that is how your bleach will seep through your lace and bleach your hair so there's these two things one it should not be your mixture should not be runny and two you should be very light-handed when applying your bleach to your closure just ever so gently apply it to the closure to the lace you should not be pressing it on into the lace okay Yeah, so you're you're basically seeing me cover the entire closure, um, yes, with the bleach. Again, you want to be very light-handed whilst doing this because again, we are we're trying to avoid bleeding. I keep saying this because I hear so many people say I tried ble bleaching my knots and I bleached the hair. These are the two things you need to make sure that you're doing right. You're getting the consistency to be very thick, and you're being really light-handed on the closure and on your application. Again, another reason why you start from the back and not from the hairline is to ensure that um, in the rare case that you over bleach your knots, if you're starting from the back, then it's more likely that the, that the back will be the over bleach part, you know? It, it's just less likely that your front, that's your hairline will be over bleached if you start from the back. So that's just another good reason why I'd advise you to start applying your bleach from the back and work your way towards the hairline so here i just gently spread it on the hairline and um, to ensure that it's also being covered you do not have to do the entire lace because remember you will cut that 
part off, you'll cut the front of the lace off. But you want to make sure that your hairline is neatly covered so that you can get most of the knots to bleach. Yeah. So once I'm done, I just turn over the um, hair um, and then I I cover it with another layer of foil. So what this thing is doing is to get all of the air out of the setup. So we're, I'm basically going to seal all the um, all the air the airways in the setup. You're going to fold the foil in a way that prevents air from entering. So literally any space that would allow air to enter, seal it. Okay. In the video, I only show see um, sealing them three parts. I, I didn't show sealing the back where the ends of the the hair is, but I actually did seal that. So you see that back part? I didn't show me sealing that in the video, but you have to seal that. I did seal that, just didn't show it. <laughs> right, so um, I'd advise to leave your setup um, to process for about 30 minutes, however, Leave it for 20 and then go in an additional in intervals of 5 minutes and check if the knots have bleached. What I mean by the knots have bleached is you'll see that most of the black dots would have disappeared. In bleaching the knots, not all of the knots will be bleached. That's just something that happens. Not, you can't get every knot to bleach but the goal is to get most of the knots to bleach. So just um, check that the black dots have most of the black dots have disappeared okay so after those 30 minutes you just wash it under running water like I'm doing with your finger and obviously under running water you can see that we have um, brassiness on the lace and this has been caused by um, the bleach Right, just it has this orange tone and that is not what we want so this is where the purple shampoo comes in i poured a bit of the purple shampoo on it and then i scrubbed it gently again you want to be very gentle with your fingers and then again wash it under running water the purple shampoo i'm using is extremely potent it's way way more potent than the shimmer light shampoo so you do not want to leave it on for too long if you leave this um purple shampoo on for too long your lace will go grey. It, it, again, it's not like the Shimmer Light shampoo. You do not want to leave it on for too long. Literally put it on there, scrub it gently with your hands against the closure, and then rinse it under and the um, running water like you've seen me do. And again, um, bleaching is a chemical process, so we have stripped the hair of some moisture. And you'll see me now go in with a conditioner, with a moisturizing conditioner, just to put back some moisture. You can see that all the orange tone that I showed you earlier is gone. Why? Because we use a purple shampoo. It also stops any further processing from going on. Did you see how bleached those knots stuck? That's what you want. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going in with the conditioner to restore the moisture in the hair. And that's basically it guys and um, if you enjoy this do leave comments in the comment section and put any recommendations you might want for my future videos do follow me on instagram twitter and um facebook at priya hair manor thanks for watching bye <laughs> Ooh.